Hey everybody, today I am going to be testing out my new wood stove that I bought to use inside of my fish house. It's a Nyko Packer stove and I bought it to heat the uh, ice house on a trip for uh, deer hunting up in Canada. So we were planning on going this October. Uh, it's currently 2020, so as you know, the Canadian border is closed to US citizens. So unfortunately we weren't able to go. So I'm doing a first test uh, up north in Minnesota in January. It's actually relatively warm for January. It's only supposed to get down to about 18 degrees tonight. So a lot of people probably think I don't really need a wood stove for camping in October, but this year if we would have gone when we were supposed to, it was actually getting down into the teens. So a little colder in October than January, but it's unseasonably warm this year, but it'll still be a pretty good test of how it works. So the tent I have is an Otter Pro Resort. It's insulated and I went with this rather than a, than a canvas wall tent because everything is contained in one unit. So if you've never used anything like this, it, it, it pops open on all of the sides and then the top. And it's a hexagon and it's about 10 by 10 at, at any width measurement, which makes it about the same footprint as a 10 by 10, 10 by 12 uh, wall tent. So it was kind of what we were looking for and, and I think it's gonna work out pretty well. So the way I uh, put the wood stove through was there's a bunch of windows like this all around and they just velcro in around the edges so i took one of those out i bought a stove jack which is a piece of silicone high temp silicone with a high temp rubber ring around it and then i took the window out and laid it out i had to add a few pieces of canvas it's just pinned on right now because i wanted to make sure it worked uh, before i sew it and then the stove jack comes out of there and it actually provides quite a bit support so i didn't even have to wire up the stove pipe or support it with any any trees so before I use the stove inside, as they, as Nyko says to do, uh, I lit it outside first and burned it for a few hours to burn all the, all the manufacturing oils off of it. And then I did another test inside the tent before I decided to sleep in it, um, just to get anything else off and just to make sure it worked before I ended up spending the night. So I got the stove set up on this side. My bed's over there. As you can see, I just have a cot with a foam pad on it, a bunch of blankets. And then I got the stove out about 16 inches from the back wall and then just 145. And as you know, it comes with a damper, has an air vent on the front. I also bought the shelf, one side shelf, and then I bought the, the false bottom that goes in as well. So. Um, we'll get it lit up uh, a little, maybe an hour or so before I want to go to bed and get this tent warmed up. I also have some data collection software that I'm going to use to log a few different temperatures. I'm going to log the outside temperature and then three different spots inside the tent all through the night just to see how it goes. So I plan on getting up and stoking the fire a few times through the night and we'll see... Uh, see how cold it gets before I wake up and do that. So. And then at the end, I'll show a few graphs of the, the way the temperature goes throughout the night. It should be pretty interesting. Here's a stove burning. As I mentioned, this is the third time I've actually used it. And that's pretty cool. Right now. Alright, so here are the results from the night in the tent. I didn't do any video during the night because uh, I didn't really have great lighting in there and it's also not super exciting watching someone sleep in a, in a tent. So I just have the results here to take a look at. As you can see, I started the stove up at about 7.40 at night. I uh, planned to go to bed around 9.30 or 10, so I wanted to get it nice and warm in there beforehand. Uh, this first high peak is when I I had the stove going and I was going in and outside of the cabin while it warmed up and I left the draft full open and it, the stove got kind of roaring and got pretty hot so the four different lines I have on here as you can see the legend at the bottom is the the red one is the is about head height the yellow one is about waist height and the gray one is about six inches off the ground and then the blue line down at the bottom is the outside temperature so the temp was about 18 degrees outside when I started, and then it got down to about 15 by the end of the night. And all these temps are in Fahrenheit. So 
after that first peak where it got to about 120 degrees at head height, uh, I got in there and I turned the draft down and the stove started burning real nice and I loaded it up with wood again uh, at, at this spot here and it got it spiked again and given that this was the first night in the stove it's really about getting it dialed in as to how much to have your vent open on the front and then how much to have your damper closed on top so that's kind of a something you're going to have to learn through experience and given my first time I wasn't exactly sure how how to do it so it's kind of an experimentation game there but each time I loaded the stove it, it kind of peaked up and then it would fall and it would continue to peak a couple times, one time or two times after that initial peak. And I'm not exactly sure why that happened, but either way, it seemed to do it after each of the big peaks. But so I loaded the stove here and then I ended up going to bed around that 930 time. And the stove lasted from then till about 1220. So about three hours, which is uh, pretty good, a little longer than I thought it would and I woke up it was about 40 degrees in there and there was still enough embers in there and I guess that's what I mean by the stove lasted is that when I woke up it wasn't exactly warm but the stove still had some coals in there so I was able to just add some wood and it started right back up so you can see it peak shortly after I added some wood and then it would decay and for some reason that little second peak um, and then so I woke up at 1220 loaded the stove it lasted again until about 340 and then I loaded the stove again. Once again, had enough coals in it. Came down, peaked again, and it went down a little bit faster that time. I uh, woke up, it wasn't quite as cold, and then I loaded it one more time at about 5.15 in the morning, and then it decayed again down, and it was uh, around 35 degrees at waist height, which is about my sleeping height, and that's when I got up at seven. So overall, I was really happy with the stove. It uh, wasn't too, uh, tough to regulate the, the damper. I found a pretty good spot by the end of the night and uh, heated up that tent really nicely and I think it, was, it wasn't it was too big, it wasn't too small, it's kind of just the right size for that size of hot tent. So pretty happy with the results. So I have the stove here, have time been using it and the nice thing about it is everything's supposed to pack inside and uh, mess into the stove itself for storage. So I was going to do a little Test and see how everything goes.